You know, it's a really fun game that I really enjoy, that I've enjoyed ever since the very first one, that I haven't really made much videos about, if any videos whatsoever, here on this channel. That, of course, is Animal Crossing. I've been a huge fan of this series ever since the original on GameCube. I've absolutely adored that game ever since. It's so wholesome and fun and enjoyable, and I loved it every single time a new one came out because there was a lot of new things to do, and they added a lot of new mechanics and stuff like that. So. Having said that, being a longtime fan and everything like that, I want to sit here and make a wish list for the next Animal Crossing game. I mean, I've played every Animal Crossing except like one, so why not? Let's do it. Um, some of these are very much um, New Horizons inspired, such as this first one, which is uh, the ability to own a restaurant or a store. This is something I kind of did a little bit in on my Animal Crossing Island. Obviously, you can't like legitimately own a store or a restaurant or anything like that. But I kind of made one um, like a little restaurant on my island and, and stuff like that. Villagers would sit there because they obviously just like randomly sit in chairs and stuff like that. So I thought it could be a cool thing to just kind of have it be a proper feature, right? Where you could um, set up a shop. Maybe you got to gather enough materials or something like that to build one. Um, and then you can decorate it however you want. Um, it doesn't even have to be a restaurant. It could just be a store or something like that and then you can sell some of the stuff you've collected either some of the stuff you've either already bought from tom nook or maybe some of the stuff that villagers have given you maybe you can sell them in this store or something some, something like that this could be really cool because it could also introduce an another handful of mechanics one being that if another player visits your island they can go into that store and they can buy stuff from you that way um, a lot of people already kind of like buy and sell things and trade things and stuff like that. So it could be an interesting idea for uh, this to be more in integrated in, in this regard here. Um, but also, it could also have another added benefit of villagers that aren't part of your village already could just kind of just randomly show up in your store or your restaurant or something like that. And then you could be like, oh shit, I really like that villager. And you can go over there and you can talk to them and, and butter them up, maybe give them a good discount or something like that. And boom, they, they might want to visit your town more or maybe they want to live in your town because they, they love the restaurant so much maybe there'll be some kind of dialogue of like man i i wish i could live here so i could go to this restaurant every day or something like that right they could have some kind of dialogue like that and they could say well why don't you move in and then boom there they go they, you, they move into the town and stuff that could be another mechanic for that but yeah just the ability to own a restaurant or store or something like that Obviously, um, you would have the ability to like lose the store if you don't log in enough days in a row or something like that. If you don't keep it in stock or something, maybe it can close down and you can reopen it, of course. Um, but I think it could be really fun, especially since we had like the food mechanics and the and the um, crafting mechanics and New Horizons. I think some of that could carry over into this one. And now there's a new reason to make these foods and stuff like that. And I think it could be a lot of fun. I, I, I would very much love to do this. Um, but yeah, uh, also the store or village would have its own inventory so you wouldn't have to be there all the time and you can employ the villagers themselves to work there and some villagers would be better than others. For example, Puck wouldn't be as good as some other villager like um, Avery or something like that, right? Um, certain villagers would obviously be better at running the store or restaurant than others. You just have to find the right one, right? So yeah, that, that could be another little fun thing. Um, but yeah, uh, number two, again, cooking to return. I would love it to be a little bit different though, because it kind of currently takes up a lot of space. Um, because for one, you have to plant the crops. So you have to have, even if you have just like one or two of every crop, that's a lot of space on your island that you can't use for anything else. So I think it could be fun if there's like a greenhouse building maybe or something like that. Maybe you could go in this greenhouse building and it's like a community garden type thing and maybe some other villagers sometimes have things they're growing in another little plot or something and you have your own and you could go there and you can garden that way and stuff like that and gather your crops and stuff this way. Um, otherwise, I think there should be some kind of difference to how the cooking and the food and, and growing and stuff like that works in this next game because the way it is right now, it, it kind of takes up a lot of space, unfortunately. Um, even though it, you don't really think it does, but if you do want to do a restaurant or one of these other things where you have to have food continuously, it ends up taking a large amount of space. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I love the cooking. I would definitely love for it to return. Uh, I think another another thing that should change on it is whenever you go to cook something or even when you go to craft something, I think you should be able to hit a number and it will craft that many. And obviously you have to have the materials to craft that many, but I should be able to sit here and just press like five or something like that and boom, immediately make five fish bait or five pieces of bread or some other random thing or something like that, right? 
should definitely be able to do that. It might maybe like fries, I don't know, just some other random food or something in the game. But yeah, definitely you should be able to hit a number and increase the amount that you craft rather than having to sit there and spam A forever because that also takes a long time and that's also a little bit annoying. Um, number three, I think um, this one, I, I feel like people have wanted it for a while, but maybe not in the way that I'm about to say. Um, but I think there should be romance between certain villagers and stuff like that. I think some of the villagers that are living in my town should have the ability to get in relationships with each other. Maybe they could start dating or something like that. And that could introduce a lot of new um, quest lines and stuff like that, where you have to send love notes and stuff like that to each other. Um, like they give you a love note to give to the other person or something like that. And you do it and maybe you can like troll a little bit and give it to some random villager. And then that can create some kind of weird uh, interaction between your villagers and your town and stuff like that. I think that would be great. I, th I think it makes a lot of sense. I think some of it, another uh, quest that you could get out of this would be like one character would be like, oh, what do you think about so-and-so? And then you could give them uh, a list of options like, oh, I, I think they're cool or, oh, they're I don't really like them that much. Or you can sell tell your honest opinions about this other villager. And then maybe based on what you say, they could be like, oh, well, I kind of have a crush on them. Can you like, <laughs> can you be my wingman or something like that? And then you go and you tell this other villager that they have a, crush on them and then boom you can hook up your villagers that way or whatever like that maybe not a not maybe not a great way to say that but still i think there should be ways to almost play cupid so to speak um this could obviously introduce a lot of new valentine's day events and stuff like that as well um because again it's it's a it's a love thing a relationship thing so yeah it could open up a new events and all kinds of things can come out of this if your villagers can have relationships with each other i don't think you as a player should be able to get in relationships with the villagers because that's a little bit weird especially them being animals and you being like maybe human yeah. uh, uh it's a weird thing but yeah um i, I think i think the, the villagers themselves should totally be able to get in relationships with each other uh, some people might say, well, they kind of already do, but it's not really on the surface, if that makes sense. A lot of that kind of stuff usually ends up happening like in the background and you kind of have to read between the lines and stuff like that. I think it should be a more open experience and stuff like that. But number four here, I think, and this one is one of my favorite ideas on this list. This is the one that immediately made me want to make this list. And that is the ability to put our own artwork in our museum. Um, obviously, we our, our museum should still have its fossils and the fish and the bugs and stuff like that that we can collect and then donate to the museum. And obviously the artwork that we can uh, gather from um, uh, Red and all these other uh, places and stuff like that. Obviously, we should still get those things and be able to donate those. But I think another awesome thing would be that if we make our own artwork we should be able to put it in our own museum um because like right now when we make artwork we can put it on like shirts and and we can even put them on paintings uh and stuff like that but we can't donate these to the museum i think we should totally be able to do that i think there should be a new section to the museum that allows us to donate our own paintings our own artwork if you will and give those to the museum and then they can have its own art gallery full of non-historical pieces of art art that is more community driven and i think another fun thing of this would be that maybe some of your other villagers can give you artwork of some kind and they'll be like oh can you can you donate this to the museum and then it's up to you whether or not you actually put it in the museum or not and then if you don't maybe they get slightly upset or sad or something like that and maybe if you do cool things happen or something like that right um I, there's so much that you can do with this like so much um another cool thing of it is is, uh, is that if vi people that other players that don't belong to your village they visit your town your village or whatever maybe they could also donate pieces of art or something like that but even if they don't or even if they can't this is still cool because as it is right now and has it as it has always been pretty much is every person's museum is basically the same you either gonna have most of your stuff or not all of your stuff or all of the stuff in the museum right so you go to a person a person's village that has everything donated and you go there you basically only get one real experience out of the museum and then it's over you don't really have much reason to go there besides to continuously give them fossils so that they can verify them and stuff like that um so yeah i think it'd be awesome if we could make our own paintings or maybe even our own statues to some extent and donate those to the museum and then blathers would be like oh this is cool i i, I this is exactly what i've been wanting i want i wanted to do things more on the community side of art rather than historical art or maybe there's like another villager or some some other character or something like that that is trying to run their own museum or something i don't know but i think it'd be so cool because then uh, every time another player comes to your village 
they'll have a reason to go to your museum because then they'll be interested, oh, their museum is actually gonna be different. On the same vein, it would be interesting to be able to customize the museum to some extent, but I don't really see how you might be able to make that work. But yeah, that's definitely my favorite on this list. But we do have one more and it's kind of basic. Um, it's a sell price guide or a sell slash price guide here. Um, I think once you sell things to Tom Nook or whatever like that, you should be able to log it in some kind of book or some kind of, you know, thing that is part of your UI and stuff like that. And it should list off everything that you've ever sold and how much you sold it for. That way you could always check how much something is worth rather than continuously having to go look it up on Wikipedia or this or that or whatever like that. You would just know how much it is. You maybe don't even have to actually physically sell the item itself. Maybe Tom Nook just offers you a price on it. And then if you say no, then it just automatically logs it anyway. And you know how much that item is worth from there on and you never have to look it up again or something, right? Um, I, I feel weird that they haven't ever done this. Um, but yeah, what do you think of my five ideas here? Again, I really love the museum one, but if you guys don't like it, I totally understand. These are things that I would love to see in the next Animal Crossing game. Will any of them happen? I highly doubt it. I think the most likely one would probably be something like the cooking thing that I remember that I mentioned earlier. Um, or even the romance between villagers. Those are probably the most likely ones. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this look at five ideas for the next Animal Crossing game. Let me know which one is your favorite, which, let me know which ones you hate, and uh, yeah. Please do consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and doing all of those wonderful things like that because when you do wonderful things like that, not only do you get access to wonderful content such as this, but you also get to become wonderful yourself. And I think we all want that. So do those wonderful things, and until next time, stay wonderful.